Basil Frazier was destined to be a jockey. Born in Spokane in 1937 to Don and Shirley Frazier, Father Don was a Northwest jockey too. Uncle Basil James was one of the nation's best for several years and won the 1942 Preakness. After four years of military service, Frazier began his riding career early in the 1960s with success at many tracks, including Agua Caliente and Del Mar. He was around John Longman a lot, you know, in his young career. And I thought he had no weight issues. He had all the ability. I think he should have gone on to the big time and could have. He could have held his, held his own with a lot of those riders down south. In the mid-1960s, it was Longden who facilitated a full-time move to Exhibition Park in Vancouver, B.C. Frazier's career took off there. From 1964 through 1974, Basil Frazier decided to go north of the border, which was a smart move. He came away with four riding titles, consecutive years, 69, 70, 73, 74. Also, he came away with 71 added victories and three British Columbia Derbies. In 64, Bright, Bright Monarch. In 1971, aboard Command Module. And in 1974, aboard Norland. But it just wasn't the stake races that Basil was interested in winning. He wanted to win, and win he did. Basil Frazier certainly did BC proud through his career. Basil Frazier was inducted into the British Columbia Hall of Fame in 1983. Washington Hall of Fame jockeys Gary Bays and Larry Pierce, seen here with Frazier in a 1992 photo of Longacre's Mile winners, had much respect for their colleague. Basil helped me a lot when I first started out riding. Um, he was, uh, his experiences, he'd been, he'd ridden around the country, he'd already been on the East Coast, and so any questions you had, he fielded and, and he was a gentleman about it and uh, was more than willing to help. On the racetrack, he was a fierce competitor. Uh, he had an extreme, uncanny sense of pace. He, uh, if he was on the front end in a race, you, if somebody didn't go after him, you had to make an early move because he, he had a quiet, he had a quiet touch on the reins. He had a quiet seat in the saddle, and he could get those horses to relax really good on the front end. So he always had some horse left. A natural confidence was part of his athletic success. Off the track, he often drove a Cadillac and always lived in the moment. Every Northwest jockey aspires to win the Long Acres Mile. Bay's new Frazier had all the tools. His sense of pace uh, came into play in the 1974 Long Acres Mile. I was on a horse called Red Eye Express, and he was on a horse called Times Rush, who came from far back. Um, Mid-stretch, I had shooken loose from the field. I thought I was going to win the race, and I caught something moving out of the corner of my eye. And I thought I could still hang on, but he zapped me right on the wire. He nailed me. And I lost some sleep over that for one for a couple days. Frazier won the 1974 Long Acres Mile. Local horsemen and fans got to know him well. He won 29 stakes at Long Acres, good for 10th place all time. Top mounts came his way. It's Eagle Tar, Native Sky, Coffinsbury, and Battery Limits. Eagle Tar and Native Sky, it's all Eagle Tar. He won the rich Gottstein Futurity in 1980. We're coming down the lane to the eighth pole. It is Question on the lead by two. Then Stormy Canadian Uncle Berry down different feet and foolish owners. He's out there by three. It's Question. Question now by four. Stormy Canadian and Uncle Berry down. It is Question. First prize of $68,000 nearly matched the mile that year. Pearson Bays agreed on more of what set Frazier apart. I enjoyed riding with him because he knew where he was going and I didn't have to ride for him and uh, second guess him. And uh, I rode with a few guys that I had to, you know, think twice, which way is that guy gonna go? <laughs> you know, so you didn't have to do that with Basil. He was, he was a pro. If he was in a race and you were in, and uh, you were behind him, he was one of the riders that I would pick to follow. Very seldom would he get in trouble during a race. Being able to tack 111 pounds led to many marathon victories. And mincemeat on the outside. Dream lately, mincemeat is moving up and trophy son. Mincemeat and dream lately, old Aaron trophy son. Now it is all mincemeat. 
Of his 2,218 career victories, milestone win number 2,000 came at Longacres in 1982. When he retired in 1985, he immediately joined the Longacres media department. King TV hired him for their broadcast of the mile that summer. He put his smooth golf swing to use over many years on the course. He continued to work in the racing industry, but there was more time for family, which included his four children. Son Don had an outstanding riding career, winning over 2,000 races himself. A top Northwest jockey for decades, wherever he rode. Basil Frazier joins the Washington Thoroughbred Hall of Fame. <laughs>